Time to take a check of your afternoon update here on WSKI TV 17. Brought to you by 45 North. Find them tonight for some great apre or dinner, as well as in the morning for a great breakfast buffet to fuel you up for all your outdoor adventures. This you can find on WSKITV.com on all your internet devices updated twice daily. Cloudy skies for the day on Tuesday. We will see a few showers throughout the area, although only a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch of precipitation out there, no matter what form it's in. So it will be light, whatever does fall. Base temperatures rising up to around 40 degrees in the mid 30s at the summit. Looks like a noticeable breeze up towards the uh, summit from the west northwest and not too bad down here around the base for wednesday we'll see things cool down 14 to 18 for your summit temperatures 21 to 25 for your base temperatures and that wind switch around from the north northwest and we'll see a very light wind up towards the summit and the base so wednesday is shaping up to be a great day out there cloudy skies a chance of snow for the day on thursday a high of 28 degrees with a low of 19 up towards the summit for Friday, we'll see a system move into our area. It's still a bit of a ways off as far as temperatures go, so right now it's looking like snow, then maybe changing over to some mixed precip, possibly a couple showers in there as well. As you can see, base temperatures well above freezing with a high of 37 degrees, and then things cool right back down for next weekend with mostly sunny skies. Machine groomed surfaces out there, 144 trails of skiing right on, nine lifts getting you those runs. Very limited grooming overnight tonight because of the warm temperatures and soft snow. Virtual Interiors brings you this trail report. Check them out in Village West. As far as lifts go, Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway at 8.30 tomorrow morning. If you're learning to ski or ride, that's where those are the lifts you'll want to head. They move you right around the base area. And Double Runner East, that'll get you a little higher on the hill if you're getting a little bit more advanced for runs down Boardwalk as well as Lower Winter's Way. That's how you get to the drop line to Rain Park. You can go over to Lower Narrow Gauge as well. Skyline and Super Quad, those two lifts uh, get you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut, which allows you to branch out from the east side to the west side and everything in between. And Super Quad gets you to pretty much everything as well. King Pine and Wiffletree, those are the east side lifts. They get going at 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. King Pine, more advanced terrain. Wiffletree, more intermediate terrain. Timberline, that's the uppermost lift here at the mountain. That gets going at 9 a.m., winds and weather permitting. Uh, and we'll have to see if you can see some good views up there. Uh, Candy side boardwalk, the landing, birches, those should all get groomed out tonight. And then only a few of the Central Mountain Trails, trails like Tote Road, possibly King's Landing, Lower Competition Hill, Lower Narrow Gauge. But because of those warm temperatures, once again, they will stay off the snow. 60 kilometers of groomed cross-country skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. About 48 of that is groomed. Um, have to call about the ice rink as when things warm up, the ice rink does melt out and isn't very favorable. But there's great conditions for snowshoeing. Uh, the fat biking trails will probably be closed because of the soft conditions as well as down off the narrow gauge pathway. There are a few trails over there, uh, Mead and South, that have been riding decently. But a lot of the other stuff is just too soft. Trails are in great shape on the uh, snowmobile trail though so take advantage of that a great way to see the main high peaks from a different point of view on a snowmobile Carabasset Valley Marijuana Business Regulation Public Hearing is 6 p.m. Wednesday, February 6th at the Outdoor Center, so residents and taxpayers are encouraged to go to that and stay informed. Also want to let you know, if you want to be informed on what's happening here at the mountain, check out our website, WSKITV.com. We've got info for the mountain as well as the region, and you can see exactly what's happening in real time at the base of the mountain with our quad cam, and we're on uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where we like to hang out, so join us in that conversation, and always at our website, WSKITV.com.